Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. It's been a while since I actually did something with torpedo boats. So in this scenario, I am first going to use a destroyer and try and hunt down torpedo boats to see how effective the AI is with them. And then I'm going to do a bit of a demonstration to show exactly how effective a player can be if they are going up in the same scenario, but in reverse, with me controlling the torpedo boats versus a single destroyer. I think the AI needs a bit of work. But you be the judge. Enjoy. Alright, so here's the scenario. It's my Pokey Dude 3. Unexpected encounter. You, commander of a Japanese destroyer, are sailing near the Philippines when suddenly you hear engines roaring. A swarm of PT boats, or as the Japanese call them, a mosquito fleet, is attacking you. Fight back. You are not expected to survive. Now, initially, this scenario is supposedly having the US at 1940s as well. The problem is that anything later than 1908 and the game protests that the US has no hull available for the torpedo boat. So I had to go down all the way from 1940 to 1908 in order to get these torpedo boats to actually get built. That means that the US has a far lower tech level, but so, so be it. They do have the numbers. They're outnumbering me seven to one. I'll try have to I'll have to try and gun them down with a destroyer. Now I don't want a destroyer leader. Um, I'm not sure if this is a destroyer leader. Yeah, that does look like a huge destroyer. Let's go for a modern destroyer. Flood ability 60, stability 59. Alright, good platform. Right. Um, 40 knots is a bit fast. I'll go for 38 knots. I'm a destroyer. I'm going to set that to long range. I know this is going to piss some people off, but suck it. Um, I like to work with the, the range slider already. Gear turbines, oil, forced boilers. If I'm fighting D... No, not D, D's. PTs, I'm going to have to get a lot of maneuverability. Rudder shift is going to be critical here. Uh, double reinforced bulkheads, anti flood two. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit that, but let's assume it's going to be two. Now I'm going to try and make this a gunboat only, so it's required that I have at least at least one torpedo tube. But then again, we'll just have to go with that one torpedo tube. Guns, um, five inch duels. And then set up another barbette, super firing medium barbette here. I want these things to be firing as fast as possible. What helps with reload? Light shells helps with reload. Gun, no, this is all stats, range, pen, 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 reload. Two powder. Reload, currently 5.6 seconds. That's something I can work with. Now, I do require at least one torpedo launcher, so that's what you'll have. One torpedo tube. And then I think I can fit three inch guns in here. Yes. 2845 out of 2850. I can make her bigger, but that's probably not going to help me. It's going to hurt me. I want to reduce my turning circle. 426, 425, 425 it is. However, I still have to add any of these systems. That's going to make the ship quite a bit heavier. Can I still salvage this? 3100? No. I'm getting very close though. There. 32 out of 3200. Perfect. Only a 4 weight offset of 0.3%. I can perfectly live with that. Let's take a gunboat and take down some torpedo boats. Now 
Now, we are starting very close to these guys. So I'm probably already going to be on my toes and dodging these guys as quickly as I can. So, hard to port. And target the primary ship. Oh. I did mean to turn that off, but all right. I forgot to check my engine efficiency over there. We already got those two stern barrels firing. Or do we? 6% and we're not firing? The hell? They were definitely capable of firing, those stern turrets. They were on target. I was not making an aggressive turn. I don't know what their excuse is. Japanese on the move. Don't tell me that the AI is going to chicken out. I want to brawl against torpedo boats. They're supposed to come after me. They're supposed to... Whoa! Hunt me down. And they are. Me and my big mouth. Any more of these uh, surprises in the water? Or is that it? Right, so this should make things a bit more interesting. I'm down to half health. I'm pumping out water again, quickly. Torpedoes, range of four. Ah, that's where they weren't launching before. They didn't have the range. But seriously, where's the other group? Down there? Are they really that sneaky? I've been trying to create recreate a ship like the Harugumo, but I just haven't quite been able to do it. Fire and flooding, excellent. I wonder if I'm going to run out of shells at this rate. Davis is slowing down. Flambo. And the other ones haven't been identified, but I can tell you exactly what they are. I'm just sad that it has to go down this way. I think they need to add a couple more torpedo boats. Because I believe that torpedo boats were still in service in the 1940s. Just as small attack craft or defensive units. Attacking from a harbor, something like that. Come on. I don't know where the Fawn's torpedo tubes are. There. Whew, look at that turning circle. Is that going to work? <laughs> that is one sharp turn right there. 437 meters, and that's at full speed. I'm only doing 22 knots. The torpedoes are... <laughs> the torpedoes are over there. Right, do a donut. I don't think that I'll be able to get my guns on target anytime soon acquire the target yeah. that just fired all over the place didn't hit the fawn at all now if they are not going to come to me I'm going to come to them because I think that with my ability to turn and dodge, I can pretty easily evade. So here, the torpedo boat launched her torpedoes in a straight line. And is going to be unable to do much. I wonder how good they are at detecting torpedoes. 
What if I launch a torpedo at her? At Curlew? It's just one. It's only a torpedo boat. Has she seen that? No. She still... Oh, now she spots it. I was wondering. That took her forever. Oh, torpedo's in the water. No, I want to make a sharper turn here. Yeah, she dodged it. There's another two incoming. The Mosquito Fleet. Coming in with a vengeance. Unfortunately for them, that those things take forever to reload back then. I take only 150 seconds to reload. But their complement of torpedo tubes is slightly larger at 2, but their, their tech level is just older. Their tech level is worse, and that's now coming back to haunt them. Now, sure enough, I am taking damage. I'm taking damage from 3-inch guns mounted on those torpedo boats. That's causing hull damage, some slight flooding, and an engine damaged. I should still be able to get up to decent speed. 21, 22 knots-ish. Davis is down. Fawn looks like she's reloading pretty soon. Still has a quarter to go. Fire, 176 damage, very nice. Wow, these guns are getting accurate. Feels like I'm consistently hitting that ship now. Even though the game says I'm locked on with only 2.3% chance to hit. Here comes Curlew. Humor me. Torpedo the Curlew. Torpedo away. That's the last torpedo that I had. <laughs> she only carried three torpedoes. Just before the fawn reloads, she gets sunk. Not a moment too soon. Next target, Curlew. Curlew is slowing down, courtesy of the uh, flooding. I hope I can sink her before she reloads as well, because I'm very close. 900 meters out. Slowing even more. Flooding howl. And... Done for. Hartford. 2.8 kilometers out. Is she ready? She's ready to torpedo me. Need to keep a very close eye on the ship. There she goes. That was on the course that I was heading on. So let's not be on that course anymore. Here come the torpedoes. I think there's another torpedo boat somewhere back... Yeah, back there. The radar ping. Keep up the fire. Again, I think that the AI is using the ship class wrong. They should not be rushing one by one and let the others do donuts somewhere off in the distance. I mean, the flambeau hasn't done anything. And same can be said for the Fuxia over there. Well, there's even one more. There's the Cairo back there. They should be actively engaging the enemy. They should be rushing me. That's how the torpedo boats were supposedly used. But they're just not. They're just sitting around waiting for stuff to happen. Waiting for me to come to them. This needs work. The torpedo boats. Because give me seven torpedo boats and I'll sink a destroyer. 
that really shouldn't be that hard. So let's run this scenario in reverse. Let's try that. Uh, leaf battle. So I am now the US. And they are Japan. They get full tech. They get one destroyer. I get seven torpedo boats. And the year for me is 1907. Design. Okay. Ship needs to be fast. Needs to be capable of reaching fast speed. So engine efficiency is going to be fairly important here. Force boiler, semi-oil turbines. Set up... Whoa, are you really that small? Uh, set up some funnels. Above displacement limit of 600? What? So, please do inform me how exactly you expect me to put both an advanced tower on, and a funnel, and a torpedo. Oh, this is enough for a lot of engine efficiency. Bulkheads? Who cares about bulkheads? Speed is what I want. Make it fast or that DD will fuck you up. Torpedo tubes? Two. Uh, two port, two starboard. Size? 17 inch, 18 inch I can get. Fast torpedoes. Range? Four clicks out. I will need at least one gun, so it's going to be more of a decoration than anything else. And what am I going to go with the rest, actually? I have 90 tons. Well, I'm going to repeat a boat. Turn to repeat some more. Whoa, I still have displacement left? Ah, finally. Put that one tube over there. Gives me a hell of an aft weight offset. This is 14 tons, this is 31 tons each. Hold on. Nah, that does not want to fit. What if I remove these, move this over here? Gives me some pretty shitty torpedo angles. But it's a suicide run anyway. Rush in, torpedo it, be done. Let's do it. Seven torpedo boats versus one destroyer. Target over there. Ceres is already in range at 2.1. Detach. Charge. Hetzel. Detach. Charge. You guys charge. And everybody else charge. Just don't use your torpedoes unless otherwise directed. No, 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 no. Check. Alright. Give me the Ceres. Oh, you're going that way. Oh, shit. Set up. Fast. Lots of guns. Two torpedoes. How did you fit that? That's a neat trick. Look at this setup. She has... What is that? Either four inch or three inch, I think. And torpedo tubes down the middle. Interesting. One point six. See, this is how you take down a DD. You swarm it. That's something that these things cannot stand. And of course, I can do it better than the AI because the AI is running on a script and I can improvise. Not always successfully, but I can still do it better than the AI can. My torpedo has a speed of 42 knots. So that means I'm going to have to drop these at point-blank range. 
want you guys to keep going. Hard starboard. Range. 700 meters. Maintain course. Six hundred meters. Starboard maximum. Five hundred meters. Stop. Hard starboard. Torpedoes green. I'm even gonna do a pincer attack like this. Attack from two different directions. If the Dakota would like to torpedo, however. Which I think she might not want to. Because my other ship is in the way. The Hetzel's toast. Torpedoes away from Cabaset. I don't understand why the Dakota is not firing. Launch, damn you. You have the target right there. Three hundred meters out. You can't miss. Thank you. Gone. That took me th two and a half minutes. Just that. Two and a half minutes. That was all. <laughs> yeah, the AI needs a bit of work when it comes down to using torpedo boats. But so again, they do need work on the rest of the ship classes as well. Because I've seen them just be too patient, too... It will be an honor. Too waiting, too sitting back, just not really doing much. Anyway, interesting experience, both as the receiving, as the DD, and as the actual damage dealer.